Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. At last we have reached the end of this RxJS course. Now it's time to close this course. So now in this video what we will try to do is so let's complete this RxJS course by recapping what we have learned so far in this uh, video in this course RxJS course what we have learned. Let's try to recap once. Now if you go to this RxJS first we have learned let's go to the get started. And here first we have learned about the observables. So what are the observables? What are the how to create an observable? And what are the different types uh, we have? Uh, what are how the observables behaves? These are all the things we have learned. And what is the difference between function and iterator? And function and observable? How to convert a promise to an observable? And how to convert an array to an observable? These are all the different types how to convert and how to access the observable and how to create the observable we have learned. And after observable, we have learned what is an observer. So, what are the difference between observable and observer? How the observable behaves and observer behaves? So, what are the methods that are, uh, what are the properties that has the observer has? Something like next error and complete. And what are the different ways of calling this one? How? So, these are all the things we have learned in the observer. And now comes to the operators. So, observables creating observables is one concept. And giving some extra functionalities to the observable is nothing but these operators only. So now we have learned about the operators also. So different types of operators that are supported in RxJS we have seen. So here we have seen the creation operators. So here you will be able to see creation operators, join creation operators, transformation operators, filtering operators, join operators, multicasting operators. These are all type of operators we have learned. So these are all the operators that we have learned in the RxJS course. And apart from this uh, what I can say operators we have learned about this higher order observable also what are the higher order observables in order to deal with this higher order observables what are the operators that are essential uh, useful for that one so these things also we have learned and apart from this we have learned about the subject so what is a subject we have learned about the subject so what is a subject and when we need to use the subject so what is the difference between observable and a subject so these are the things we have learned and also in the subject we have learned about the different types of subjects that are available in the RxJS we have learned. So that is nothing but what I can say is subject, behavior subject and here is the behavior subject and replay subject and here we have learned about the async subject and last one is the void subject. So these different types of subjects also we have learned and apart from that one we have learned about what is a multicast observable and what is a unicast observable and what is a cold observable and what is an hot observable these are all the things we have learned so apart from this subject next we went to the schedulers so what is a scheduler so where the scheduler will help for the for an observable so how to control the observables using schedulers we have learned and here we have learned the different types of schedulers those are nothing but q scheduler sap scheduler async scheduler these are the most common schedulers that we use in commonly in the rxjs and we have learned with examples also simple examples also we have learned so and also we have learned about what are the different types of operators that support that sort of, that has scheduler as a parameter also we have seen some of the operators in when while learning about the operators so we have seen the scheduler concept also so this is all about the main concept and we have seen the operators also the what are the different types of operators creation operators join operators filtering everything we have seen so these are all the concepts that are in the RxJS. So these are almost all the concepts we have covered. If you go to my course, here you will be able to see all the different types of RxJS we have did. So so many videos we have did. So covering almost all the topics in the RxJS we have did. Almost all the operators we have touched and we have did a sample example also. So the, at the last we have did some difference between switch map, merge map. These things also we have covered. So these are the most important thing. Apart from this, we have seen the marble diagram. So how the marble diagram, how to uh, for each operator. So how the output will be, we have seen with a marble diagram. How to read the marble diagram also, we have seen for each operator also. This is also one of the main important in while learning the RxJS. And, and what I can say is, for example, so we have learned these many operators and all those things. And you may get doubt that, so which operator I need to use in the real time scenario. So you have explained us so many operators and all those things. Okay, fine. That's fine. But if you want to apply in a real time scenario. So how can we know that this is the right operator we need to use in our application. So this is the doubt all the people may get. So I can accept that one also. For those for that 
kind of thing so what they have given is rxjs in their website so they have given a link that is nothing but operator decision tree so this is nothing but which operator you need to make the decision so if you have already an observable so click on this one and you want to change each emitted value means then you can click on this one so to be a constant value or to be calculated with a, some logic or formula means if you click here it will be telling that you need to use the map operator or otherwise if you want a constant value means it will tell you it is a map to operator so like that you can go on so for example i want to allow some values to pass so based on some custom logic means you can use the filter operator or otherwise they are started the observer means and only the first value means first operator so these are the types of things so you have a scenario and i want to use the and i want to use the operator means you can use this operator decision tree so that it might be helpful for you so yeah, i cannot tell you that it will give you a 100% uh, thing so that depends actually so this is all about the rxjs uh, concept so so this is here is the operator decision tree if you want to use miss you can use it so this is all about this rxjs so this is a complete uh, what i can say is complete course with the rxjs now in the next course what i will try to start is next week most probably in the next week that means uh, in the october so october first week uh, something like that i will start what i will try to start is i will try to create a new angular application using the declarative reactive approach actually in angular what i can say is so we can write the code in two ways one is an imperative reactive pattern and another one is a declarative reactive pattern so declarative reactive pattern means nothing but the rxjs so using the concept of rxjs we can develop an application using declarative reactive pattern whereas this re imperative reactive pr programming means nothing but what we will be doing day to day time, day to day day uh, so solving the application so in the next course what i will try to do is so we will try to do the de uh, understand the declarative reactive programming and i will try to develop an angular application something like crud operation using declarative reactive approach okay hope you understood about this rxjs so that is all about this rxjs course so soon we will meet with a new course that is nothing but declarative reactive programming declarative reactive programming it is so that will be something like small very small course only something like es linked it will be like es linked course only then afterwards you will plan for the next course so hope you understood about these all rxgs concepts and all those things so if you have any doubts or any suggestions as usual so please post me uh, the comments so that i will try to give the reply if i know and also if you like my channel please do support me by subscribing to my channel and also please if you want this complete code so this a complete code is hosted in the github so last time i want to tell you that complete uh, uh, my in my channel sorry in my channel not in my channel in my website github.com slash lila narsimha so here you will be able to see now uh, so here in the repositories i think in the repositories where is rxjs basics yeah here in this one you will be able to have complete so this one i have maintained a correct uh, what i can say correct branch and all the correct data i have maintained so you can go to each branch so you can take the video of that particular branch and you can see the code what i have explained at that particular video so you can have each branch is created so previous uh, courses and all those things a uh, little bit of what i can say is uh, so my my i do i am unaware of uh, maintaining this all the things so that is the reason i have didn't maintain so i didn't thought i didn't thought that this course will become so much success something like that i didn't thought so that is the reason i didn't maintain a, uh, this all the data and all those things from right now onwards rxj servers i will maintain the correct uh, branches and all those things so this is all about this uh, what i can say rxjs course so we'll soon we'll meet with a new course so this is all about the rxjs so hope you understood about this one so at last so please do do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you